Aloha. Good afternoon. This is Dan Aloha Live out of Flagstaff, Arizona with Spiritual Instructions on Facebook Live. Aloha and welcome to today's update. Um, how about those kids and that coach that got saved in the cave in Thailand? That was pretty amazing. I want to thank all of you guys that helped, um, helped support that cause, that whole activity. And there was a lot of people, I know it. There, um, excuse me, Aloha Ivana, thanks for stopping by. There was, there was a lot of people that, that um, assisted with that whole scenario. I mean, I, mean there, I, I already know there was thousands, probably millions of people that were praying for those kids and that coach. Um, and, and not to mention all the rescue people that were there. It was, it was, it was, it was in, <laughs> and some of the, if you guys read some of the posts that I put out there, uh, the, uh Aloha D, thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you read some of the posts that, that were put out there, there were, there, uh, you know, people were calling it a miracle, uh, a, a huge miracle. And, and I agree. I, I, I don't think it was anything less than a miracle. And I think lots and lots of people participated in that. On various levels, and and if you look, looked at those, I, I and I did, I put um, I put a, a video that where they showed the kids in the hospital and uh, recovering, and uh, and asking for at least one more, at least one more prayer for those kids because because um, they were talking about the possibility of them being possibly uh, coming down with an illness because of the of being in that cave for so long. So maybe lungs, uh, maybe uh, bacteria. I don't know who or what, but so I asked people to put, pray at least one more time. And if you looked at the video, it was um, I, I'm pretty sure it was it was very a very worthwhile cause. Those kids seemed very very mild mannered. Uh, I, I don't know if they were Buddhist or not, but they kept bowing, you know, bowing to to the um, to the new media and all kinds of stuff. So um, and I, I'm assuming they're. There are probably going to be a few more days in that hospital uh, to, to make sure they're quarantined. I, I'm pretty sure to make sure they're okay and then, and then they'll be released. But, and so far, I haven't heard of anything of them um, coming down with anything or anything like that. And I haven't heard about the coach. <laughs> I don't know if that coach is in a lot of trouble, but that coach may be in a lot, a lot of trouble. But anyhow. So anyhow, um, <clears throat> again, I want to thank all of you people that, that participated in, in being of service and praying for those kids and, and doing a meditation or whatever to help those kids on whatever level you were able to. So I want to thank you for, for doing that. I think it was uh, very, very you know, huge. It was huge. So anyhow, um, in the meantime, uh, I just got back from doing my laundry. I'm getting ready to go get the hell out of Dodge. But that's the other point. I am... Um, I'm um, getting ready to go to New Jersey. Uh, I, I got pretty much, I'm, I'm not 100% there yet, but, but um, I got pretty much pretty close to everything ready to go. I just got a few more things and then I'll be good to go. But I still have, I'll, I'll, I'll be leaving probably in a week uh, from next Tuesday, I think, or Monday. So anyhow, um, and it's going to be, I'm going to be there for four, four or five days, I think. So it's going to be a very long journey, but I think it's going to be interesting. I, I, I don't know what, what are all the reasons I have to be there, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be there for whatever reason, other than just doing readings. I'll be doing readings there when I'm there. Um, I'm, I'm scheduled to do all kinds of stuff. I don't know what to do. It'll be a very interesting uh, symposium coming up. And, and if you happen, uh, oh, and if, if, if you guys, uh, have, you're, you're, you're ha well, first of all, if you happen to be there and you see me, you can just, just come up and give me a high five, five high, something like that, something high, but uh, that's besides the point. And uh, just 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 introduce yourself and, and let me know when you're there and just, just say hi. So, you know. so um, and I also, I have an extra bed in, um, Aloha, Susan, Suzanne, Susan, no, Susan. Susan, thanks for stopping by. Um, if you happen to be there, and, and if you if you're interested, I'm, I'm willing. To, I have an extra bed that I'll have in my room. So if you will, if you want to share the expenses with me, then uh, give me a shout and um, get a hold of me, and then we'll we'll make those arrangements and you can share a, a room with me. I don't know that I want to, but but um, you know, and it is what it is. 
I don't have I don't have a problem with it. And so um I don't know how busy I'll be, but but you know if anything else you'll you'll have the room for yourself for a lot, for a, most of the time because I'll be pretty busy doing all, all kinds of other stuff. So anyhow um oh I know what I want to tell y'all. Come on back now, y'all here. Um I um I just put together a, a MUFON store on Amazon. Um, it took some work, it took some time, and it took some uh, politics. I think, man, Amazon. I tell you what, they, 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 their customer service is out of the Philippines, I think, or something like that. And, and uh, what the other day, I, I, I just the, the guy that I was talking to didn't even know how to adjust the ratings. Of, or the shipping and handling rates. Oh my God, these people! I, it just drives me nuts. You know, it, I, I don't. I don't care if they're from the Philippines, but if they don't know what the hell they're doing, then get out of Dodge. Go home. Go go somewhere else. I I, I got better things to do than waste my time with a bunch of wannabe Amazon customer service. But that's just one. point. Um, let me see. I I apologize. Um, I was. Uh, I don't know. Randall Nickerson. Was supposed to show up for a, an interview last Sunday, and he didn't. I don't know what the problem was. Um, he didn't call. He didn't text. He didn't do anything. So I'm assuming that it was an ego thing, and so he he just has to get out of his way and and um, and get the ball going because you know that that's not a good way to to do business at all. I don't care what level it's on. It's just not. I mean, he didn't apologize. He didn't call and say anything. He just. He just didn't even show up, man. I'm not cool at all. So, you know, um, but what goes around comes around. I'm pretty sure of that because I've seen it happen so many times. But that's the size one. So, um, let me see. Ah, uh, if, uh, if you guys, let me see, it's July 12th. I think um, Sri Karunamai, who's a saint out of India, and also Amaki, the hugging saint, another saint uh, out of India, are both um, probably in the East Coast right now. So if uh, I put the links there on, on the right-hand side in the comment section. And if you want to, if you have nothing better else going on and she's near you, I would advise go for it. I mean, think about it, folks. You see priests, you see uh, teachers, professors, and when do you ever come across a saint? Now, there's, there's a difference between a master and a saint. I want, I want to tell you that right now, okay? A master is someone that's conscious, that, that can have uh, control over all their senses, uh, emotions, feelings, uh, sight, uh, hearing, mouth, nose, ears, whatever, hair, but that's just the point. Um, and also all, all the, the, their elements in, in, in around them, air, earth, air, water, fire, etherics. Um, and so that's a master. And now uh, the difference between the master and the saint is a saint not only has control over all the senses and all the elements of, of their environment, but uh, they also have, I believe, publicly, um, let me see how manifested at least three miracles. Publicly, that you you know they've been known to you know produce a miracle, save a life, or bring somebody back to life, or whatever. I mean, Sai Baba. If you ever went to visit Sai Baba, you there's in numbers of people, hundreds, probably thousands, I don't know how many people, have, have witnessed him bringing people back to life. They were dead, literally dead, for three, four, five days, literally. And he just, there was a baby, they said he massaged him, and then he just breathed into him. And you can hear that baby going, ah, ah, and he was, I don't know how long he was dead, I think three, three four days or whatever, he was dead. And he, he brought that kid back to life, literally just breathed into him. So, and there, you know, there's all kinds of miracles out there that have taken place. Uh, again, with this, this, these kids, these, these 12 kids and, and, and that, that soccer coach being, being taken out of that, that cave, that was a huge miracle. That was a huge feat. I don't think he was anything less than a miracle. And I, I don't know that there's anybody, there's any saint behind that. Or there probably is. I don't know who exactly, probably Sai Baba was one of them, I'm sure, but that, that was a collaborative effort. There was a lot of people that came into play for that, that whole program. So it was, it was pretty cool just, just to see all that 
just happened, like you know, just just all just un unfold the way it did. It was just really cool, and it was a perfect rescue. It was absolutely a perfect. And there's, I don't believe there was any major hitches or anything like that. Uh, nobody got hurt uh, other beyond that. That uh, Ty, um, who was it? That that guy that um, that got that that died. He, I, I don't know what he was, you know, what the deal was, but he went to try to save him. And he, I think he went by himself, and that was not a good idea. So he ended up uh, dying from that. So the um, search and rescue guy. Yeah. Um, I don't have anything going on. You know, I, I'm I'm just taking it. I'm just taking it one day at a time. I don't have much going on for the rest of the month for radio shows. Um, other than um, well, I I do next week. We we are doing the the psychic show, and uh, we are doing um. The relationship show, and then of course the regular meditations on Wednesday nights, uh, and then the full moon meditation at the end of the month. Uh, I believe the 25th, which is going to be a Wednesday. Um, wait, 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 wait. I gotta check this. Uh, that might not be a good idea because I think I'm going to be on the road. I gotta check this time out. <clears throat> the full moon meditation is scheduled to be on. Um, I believe the 25th of um, July. What? Hang on, a I thought I just said that. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's the 25th. Oh, I take it back. I take it back. Cause you got, I'm going to be on the road, folks. I'm going to be on the road. So, so um, you know, I, I probably will meditate uh, for 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 that full moon meditation, but I just I I just may not be meditating. Excuse me for that full full length of that. I'm not sure because I'll be on the road on my way to New Jersey too. So um, <clears throat> um, you know, again, I did my my meditation. My the, I, I did the group meditation last night. Wow, you know, for a regular Sunday, a uh, regular Wednesday summer meditation day, it was powerful. I was I was surprised how powerful it was last night. So um, again. You know, if you don't know anything about the transmission meditation, go to my website, spiritualimageproductions.com, spiritualimageproductions.com. On the left-hand side, there's a link that says transmission meditation on the air. Check on that. There's an e-book there that shows you how to do it. Uh, there's an introductory video that I, I put together so that you, you that will give you some in, insight and instruction on how to do it with this particular group. This, this group is a little bit different. Not that it's any better or worse. It's just different. Uh, and and um, that the energy is always there. I, I'm pretty sure, um, whether I'm there or not. I, I think I, we've meditated enough times. You know, it, it's like it's like um, I don't know. It's like Wednesday. Every, every Wednesday is Wednesday, right? So you know, for years, for years and years, every Wednesday has been a Wednesday. So the energies of Wednesday are always there every Wednesday. So it's like that. So uh, the energies of this transmission meditation uh, are always there. I'm pretty sure, and there, uh, there's a, there's a whole community, literally, of of, meta, of people, of beings, of saints, of 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 um, celebrities, uh, all kinds of people show up to this meditation every Wednesday night from 7 to 9 p.m. Arizona time. I guarantee you, 100 percent, earn your money back. But anyhow, um. So, you know, even though I, I may not be completely there or, or there at all, and even if I'm not there at all, the energy will still be there. So just plug right in, and, and I think, I think you know, you'll, you'll still, you know, get, get, you'll still catch the vibe, right? You'll still be able to imbibe that energy and, and, and really, really work with it if you want. So, um, you know, that's up to you. Uh, I, I'm not going to force anybody to do anything you don't want to do with that story, though. But, um, let me see what else is going on. Um, I don't have any any interviews. I don't have any. Again, this is summer. This is the middle of July. I'm just just going with the flow, and I'm just taking it easier now, right? Why not? Oh, the oh, <clears throat> you know, I've been molding it over, and I've been working with all kinds of stuff lately for the last. I don't know. Whole lifetime, why not? Um, and um, I discovered that the readings that I do are very transformative. 
uh, literally, I've, I've seen people's lives just change over. Uh, lately, I've had a cousin of mine out of Texas. I, I went and gave him a Aloha, Leslie. Thank you for thanks for stopping by. Uh, I've um I I went what was it two years ago? I, I went I went through Texas and I, I drove all the way out to Florida for the symposium out there. And um I I had I had just um put together my book, the 90 Day Ascension Journey. Uh, the it, it supplements the journey that I actually do with people. Um, and um, anyhow, I, I stopped by and visited my cousins and my uncles and whatever else. And I gave my 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 cousin a, a, a copy of that book. He must have read it because he's been coming into my energy field for like the last week or two. So uh, I don't know. Something must have kicked in. Something must have happened because because all of a sudden he's been in my my energy field. And so I've been working with him and supporting him on a spiritual level. And I don't know how much how much it's helping him, but I know that it is. I absolutely know that it is. Uh, so um, anyhow, when I when I do my practices, I've been bringing him into my circle, into the circle, um, to the family circle. And um, I don't know what's going on with him right now. I have I haven't talked to him in a while, over a year, I'm pretty sure. And so um, so I'm, I'm assuming that he's um, things are shifting around for him in a good way. So I hope so. Um, anyhow, so if, anyhow, the the readings that I'm, I'm doing, the uh, the astrology readings, I I, I believe. Are very transformative. So the, the readings that I'm doing are called uh, I'm calling them transformative astrology readings. And if you want to get in on, on a reading right now, um, again for the rest of this month, I'm doing a, a, an hour reading for 50 bucks. 50 bucks, folks. You can't get any cheaper than that. Well, maybe maybe free, but you know if I give them away from free, and I've done that, people don't appreciate them. They don't. They don't. They just uh, oh okay, and then they don't really give a shit, and they walk off, and and then you know I, I I'm I'm not interested in wasting my time with anyone or anything for that matter. So so it's like that. Fifty bucks for for our reading. Just mention this 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 um, message that I that I did this um, update on 12 July 19 or 2018, and um, and we'll 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 go for it. Anyhow, um, what else is going on? Uh, again, I'm, and, uh, and all of you that, that, uh, oh, I got, I got a visitor. Hey, you want to get, say hi to these people? No? Okay. I see you got your sword. All right. We'll see. Huh? Uh, I'm talking to the, these people. All right. We'll see you later. <laughs> I got a, a, some Navajo Indian neighbors here and the kids there's like two boys they always come by and visit i and i have to leave the door open because it's so hot a lot of times um so they always come by and say hi and i don't know they have, one of them lost their sword one day and he was crying oh i lost my sword oh my god i said where is it he goes it's down there i said well go get it so i guess he got it aloha there's the other one Anyhow, folks, um, if, if, if anything else, um, grab your ticket. There's still tickets left for the symposium, I'm pretty sure. Um, and, and coming up pretty soon, you know, almost two weeks from is today, Thursday? Two weeks from today, I'll be there. I'll be in New Jersey. So um, I'll see you in New Jersey. And if not, I'll still see you there, probably in the, in the live stream. They're doing a live stream of this, of this uh, conference. You can literally, um, I can't, I, I can't remember what the name of Just go to the MUFONSymposium.com website and you can get information on that and you can watch it from the, from the seat of your own home if you want to do it that way. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by y'all. Have a God God. It's weak and it's, oh man, it's been raining. I, uh, for like for the last few, five days or so, a week or so. It's been actually raining here in, in Flagstaff, right? Just about every day. Like it's overcast right now, and um, I, I think I'm going to go and, and do some chores, uh, some 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 errands, and then hopefully it won't rain on me. But but if it does, guess what? I guess I'm going to get another shower. That's the way that story goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Why not? All right. Well, thanks a lot. Have a God Goddess week.
weekend. Be the love that you are. Always have been and always will be. Aloha. Arriva Derchi. Bon voyage. Get back.